Kosakis, and this is Talk Time. Today we're going to be discussing with our guests something called art continuity. Today we have our guest, Mr. Don Comet, he's from Patterson, Mr. Chris Clark, he's from Glen Rock, and Bob Corr, who's also from Patterson, New Jersey. Now tell me, you have something called the manifesto of art continuity. It goes like this. Art continuity is founded on the simple principle that once a line extends beyond its point, that it reaches uh, How does that go again, Bob? <laughs> I think you're the one who wrote this up. No. I think you'll be the best one oh, you want me to read this? read this. Our continuity is founded on a simple principle that once a line extends beyond its point, it reaches towards infinity. We hope to extend art beyond its point. We have no desire to be a force, or rather a force field of artists to help artists. We are a nonprofit disorganization drawing our strength from the wisdom of age and the exuberance of youth. We have no politics or socio-geographical boundaries besides with the limits of art itself. It is our bond, our common ground, our purpose and truth, our very identities. There are no good artists or bad artists, only true artists. These we hope to seek out. We wish only a civilized peace and demand the right to create freely and openly. Only this and all else will follow. Our motto, do it! You weren't talking this way the other night. No, well, you know. So tell me, can you explain a bit more about this, what that's all about? Well, I think, I think Don and Chris should handle that because I'm just like... <laughs> well, Bob just wrote the manifesto. Well, that's how I got, I got introduced to it. When did the organization start? Uh, it started in my kitchen with me, Jay, and the Uncanny Manny. Okay, and then the young Jay? Jay, well, Jay's a, a comic book artist, yeah. you know, that lives is in my neighborhood. Is he a professional? What do you mean well, by professional? Here. Actually, the mode of exchange is relative. You know, and that's the beauty of art and music and all that. You know, we're not just talking about drawing, we're talking about art. Like, the whole thing, man, is like the human experience is the other side of, like, oppression, you know what I mean, and the freedom it affords. Okay, the next thing would be then, all right, uh, well, what you've been doing here, I, I see that there's some uh, artistry being done as we speak. What's this all about? Uh, Chris, you're doing that, so I think you should speak about uh, it. Yeah, this really has everything to do with my relationship to the group. Can you just hold this up to a camera and yeah, talk do, about it? Yeah, do, uh... You want to just, like, start it off? Okay. Sure, yeah. Okay. Let's start it from the beginning. Give it some continuity. All right, Doug. Done. And uh, this was done at the Fearlone Art Center. Now, what is this actually called? Uh, figures dealing with ambiguity, organization, and the zest for art continuity. Mm -hmm. Okay. And this what else do we have? Blue here? figures. Yeah. There's a new taken from one of the models. Um, mm -hmm. that poses at the Fairlawn Art Center right. on Monday and Wednesday nights. Now, where do you meet? Fairlawn Art Center is one of the places we meet. Mm -hmm. That's the most formal situation that we go to. You know, there's the Artist well, Housing Projects downtown Patterson. And then there's housing projects where Bob and I work. Right. You know, okay. at different sites. Now, about that, is there like a phone number where people can call and make suggestions or to be connected with the group? That sort of well, thing? no, they just got to, like, you know... Bob's phone number would be probably... No, 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 I ain't give my phone, phone number. No, 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 no. Hey, where's hey, this hey, tape going? Hey, hey. Like, we just, we painted, like, a big desert on this factory mm. in the middle of, like, an industrial section. I have, like, a picture of that? What? Yeah, I got... Well, I just we did a couple have one of right here. Yeah. yeah. So, what's this all about? I mean, you're... I think this is a photograph where you're shot. Huh. You know, you're there with your bike. Yeah, yeah. And was this a favor, or did you get paid for it? No, well, we we got like um, fifty dollars, you know, like for five people. So and we got ten dollars a piece. What he's worth. You know, Maybe I that's just saying something about how much he's worth. Yeah. Okay. What what do you have for the future? What does the what future hold for our continuity? Can you what, fill what us in on that? Well, more well, projects. You know, whatever happens, whatever we get into. Hopefully, like a movie. And more music, like Chris. Chris is in the video and yeah, uh, man. Yeah. It's music and media. yeah, I it's make like, video. yeah, whatever right. happens, you know, like right. Chris did this something. piece. That you did that just a little while ago, didn't you? Yes. What's this all about? This is Chris's interpretation of our continuity, and we were talking about how no. the process might. Work. No, this was never once my interpretation. <laughs> 
that was never me just then. That's well, it. Rub yeah, down yeah, on. yeah, yeah. It's a, it's a guise of identity. Yeah, it's important, you know? you know? It's what important. What do you do for an encore? I mean, like, you know. You, like, making art, it all seems kind of like. It's beyond words. The words are just a platform, a stage to bounce from. And then you can just do whatever the heck you want. Yeah. See, like, the longer when, you work, uh, the deeper the focus. That's right. That's, that's sort of what it comes down to. Like, you can be interested in art when you're young, but you really have to, like, yeah, but think about artist. it and you continue. You know what I mean? You're an artist, oh. like, whenever you're creating art. Or when you well, what, what is art, say, then? That's express. the big question. You know, and then there's the problem Bob, with the Bob. ego, too. Well, art is like anything, man. I mean, baking a cake is like art. Yeah, but you know what, what I'm saying? But is people that just, like, like, aren't hip to that. You it's know what I'm ego saying? and it's tra transcendence. And it's transcended when people enjoy one another's art. That's what it when is. When you can yeah. enter into another. Well, how many people are, are that's enjoying it. your art yeah. now? Uh, well, that's relative. Well, there's to us. A given moment. <laughs> you know, whoever's on the set and notices it or walks away with uh, images of it or influences of it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like. You know, who can say? A person might say they were influenced by you. But in fact, if you look at their work, you don't see that influence at all. But they feel they were influenced. You know, it's that kind of thing. Yeah, or just like the influence enough to like, to spark the creativity. You know, the style doesn't have That's to right. be the you same. That's right, you flew in. It's experience versus vitality, mixing and melding, you know, all the time. So that's the thing with the kids and why older people sort of hang out and work with kids to maintain their vitality, to uh, get stimulation, to give stimulation since they have experience and those young people have the new vitality. They're just born, mm. they're newly born. And the degree of being newly born, that's where the vitality is coming from. The continuation, you know what I mean? The so continuity. that's what it is for the group, just to That's what our continuity is all yeah, about. Yeah, yeah, to just being keep reborn creating again. art and sparking, you know, people and turning old people on to art. And like, you know, we like, it's we know a lot of people. artists that are good that just aren't free, you know? <laughs> <laughs> they just like gotta like <laughs> learn. Well. And I gotta learn. <laughs> Really. Chris, Me too. How's this coming yeah. along here? Got a lot of work to do. Well, I mean, what, is, would, what would you? Uh, I'm way behind. I don't know. This isn't <laughs> worth much. Well behind. Huh? No, Chris. Hey, Chris is light years ahead of us. Man. Light years. <laughs> so, concerning the future of our continuity, do you, do you plan to have um, shows somewhere? In yeah, the, yeah. Real soon. Maybe up here at the college <laughs> would be cool if we could talk to well, Andrew Brown and maybe like right in the studio. Yeah. Yeah. College, we we'll just have to talk to some public relation people. Why not? Well, I tell you hey. what, hey. folks. This about all wraps it up. Uh -huh. Five For talk time. Nice. This is Hawkeye Visakis and the whole group, at least partial, of our yeah. continuity. It's you know, always partial. There's a lot of us buggers now, man. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> What I'd like to say is, check out our continuity when you can, all right? We're now available in six packs, too. Okay. <laughs> in a video cassette stores near you. Yeah.